Hey Sagittarius, Alice here with your weekend reading. So let's see what's going on for the next few days for you. It's a quick reading, no clarifiers. Um, yeah, so technically this reading is timeless. So whenever you find it, it's when you're meant to find it. So it can be for the next few days. Just keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it. So this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you just feel drawn to Sagittarius, or you're a cross watcher perhaps, or you know, you just something about the title brought you in. Um, any one of those. There may be a message in here for you. So what do we have? We have the Chariot in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Cups. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, Hierophant in reverse. Yep. And the Moon. That's so far. Okay. Sure. The Sun in reverse. Um, and the World. We have the King of Coins. And the Nine of Wands, the Star in Reverse, the Seven of Cups, and the Empress in Reverse. Alright, so your overall energy here. Oh, okay. We have the Knight of Cups in Reverse, Six of Coins, Ace of Cups, Ten of Coins. So you may be feeling like it's been a while, or you've been waiting a while, perhaps, um, to sort of have a connection here that isn't fucked up. Um, this is a fucked up connection that has been going on for a while, or has been a while since. And I feel that you've been feeling quite lonely in that time period. And the loneliness has made you maybe feel like, I don't get anything, you know? I'm not gonna get anything. Um, I don't get, like, it almost feels, hmm, there's a bit of desperation here. I'm not gonna lie with the Six of Coins in reverse here, and this is leading to the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups can be somebody who is... <sighs> In this case, the Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody who maybe is going after love, but more like the idea of love. Um, maybe a little, because the Knight of Cups is somebody who, you know, is a romantic, somebody who's romanticizing things here, somebody who is, um, you know, expressing how they feel, but it's in reverse. So, and with the Six of Coins energy behind it, it, it comes off as a bit desperate. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm personally, like, I don't really feel like there's anything too bad of being in your emotions and wanting to express your emotions, but, um, it does feel a little overboard is the best way I can put it. I mean, yeah. Anyways, so let's go in, what's going on here for you uh, this weekend over the next few days? Queen of Wands and Reverse Chariot in Reverse and the Two of Cups. I kind of laughed when I saw it because I can see clearly what this energy is. Queen of Wands in Reverse. You're frustrated. You're going to be feeling frustrated this weekend. You know, the frustration is leading because things aren't going anywhere. With the Chariot in Reverse, you know, that means it's not that you're stuck it's just there are some delays here like things aren't going in the direction that you want it to go in and that's very frustrating for you and what does it have to do with well it has to do with a connection here there's a connection here that you feel with somebody and it's just not going in the direction that you want it to go this weekend and it's kind of frustrating for you i mean that's i mean that, that, that's what's there that's the energy uh your energy I mean, I feel like even though you are frustrated, you're trying to not let it bother you with the sun in reverse. This is somebody who can be pretending like everything's okay. You know, it is a bit of a fake it till you make it type of attitude. It's like, okay, well, I'm just going to pretend that everything's okay. I'm just going to pretend that I'm happy and that I'm fine with the situation, even though you're actually kind of frustrated with it. 
um, what may be holding you back here is the world. It, it kind of feels like you may be wanting like everything. You may be wanting a lot here. And I, I mean, I see that with the Empress here as well. It's like maybe you're wanting a little too much. You're wanting a lot and it's kind of holding you back here um, in this situation. Um, the connection here. So this is somebody who is on your mind, somebody who you're thinking about, the person whose energy is attached to you right now. Their energy towards you right now is that, well, with the higher event in reverse, they, they aren't committing to you. Um, they're, yeah, their energy here is, it, it just feels like they're not, there, there isn't a long-term commitment here right now in the energy here with this person. Um, cause the Hierophant really is just connect, it is commitment and promises. And when I see it here in that place, it really just means this person isn't ready to commit to this connection right now. Um, the energy in the connection is the moon. There is a lot of emotions here in this connection, but there are, are a lot of things that aren't as clear. Um, they're not super clear in this connection. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things sort of hidden beneath the surface. The moon only illuminates, you know, a little bit. You know, the moonlight only shows you so much, but there is still a lot that moonlight can't show you. It's not like the sun. The sun's very bright. The sun shows everything, but the moonlight, it only shows you certain things and there are shadows in the moonlight. So this connection, it's like there's more to discover you know there's it's mysterious there there are there are mysteries here there are things that aren't everything isn't really all out there to be seen um your actions here we have the seven of cups i feel a little bit of confusion here on what to do uh, I get an energy here of that you feel like you have a lot of options on what you can do especially emotionally like there are a lot of emotional, like, option choices that you feel emotionally about um, that you could be doing um, in this situation. But, you're, you know, it, it, it comes off as I want to make sure I make the right choice. So there, there can be a bit of an indecisive feeling here when it comes to what is it that you want to do. There are many things that you could do. But it's like, well, I want to make sure I do the right thing and I don't, you know, and there's emotions attached to these choices. Um, something that may, some sort of obstacle here, something that may um, come up for you in the next few days that may be um, something you have to deal with here. Uh, <laughs> there, there seems to be somebody here who is has a sort of a determined energy here. They're very persistent here and their persistent energy is kind of almost a bit admirable here um, with the queen of coins. Like I, I do feel like this person has been through some sort of battle here and they're kind of hanging on here. And the reason why this person is like, they're very put together. Um, you know, they know their value. They know what they want. Um, this person, you know, they, they are quite guarded as well. I will say with the nine of wands, this person is quite guarded as well. Um, this is a challenge. This is going to be a challenge for you, um, for the next few days here. Uh, I feel the challenge is probably more about how guarded this person is. There is a, they, they are persistent and I feel like they're persistent in guarding themselves here, but you know, this person, you know, they've got their shit together. You know, they're not all over the place. I feel like just the, the biggest challenge here for you is just that, you know, they've got some walls up here and that may be a bit of a problem for you. Um, the advice here from Spirit, we have the star in reverse. Now, usually when I see advice and if it's a reverse card, it usually is like, don't do that. And, you know, with Star in Reverse, it's don't lose hope, you know. If you feel kind of sad or pessimistic about the situation here, the advice from Spirit is, you know, don't lose hope. You know, there is still hope here. Um, try not to feel like things are hopeless. Try not to lose faith in the situation. 
Um, the outcome here, the potential outcome here, you know, if nothing changes in the energy, but, you know, things usually do change in the energy, but the potential outcome here is the Empress in the reverse. Um, this is somebody who is closed off. Um, I feel like this is probably this person here, this Queen of Coins. Somebody might close themselves off here, closed for business. I feel like this is if you get too frustrated um, with the situation, that this is your perception, that they may be very closed off. Um, but, you know, if you don't lose hope here, this is the advice, then, you know, this, this may not seem as bad as it is. Because it, it just feels like these are all connected. And, you know, it's with this connection as well. And I just feel like this person is quite guarded. And that's why they may kind of shut down a little bit here. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're going to shut down here. This is the potential outcome. But Spirit is saying here, don't lose hope, Sagittarius. Just because this person shuts down. Um, yeah, don't lose hope here. All right. Oh, I know, that was really quick. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, I'd appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe. That just helps me do more with the channel and you get to be notified when I post more readings. Uh, good luck this weekend. Take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye.